we probably think we are in complete control of our decisions and thoughts but how often are they guided by something else something which we don't even realize happening inside us hey everyone you're watching wisdom shots and today i want to share with you 10 mind traps we experience in our day to day life being aware of this concepts will help you to make better decisions and uh, i'm going to sh- share this in a story format so i have a hero in this story his name is arun mr arun arun is a 30 year old bachelor who just moved to a new city for work so one day at workplace during a birthday celebration someone offered him a big piece of yummy chocolate cake now arun is a health conscious guy he knows he should not eat sugar and things like that but he was not able to resist the temptation you know what i'm talking about Cognitive dissonance is the mental discomfort we all experience when we hold two contradictory beliefs or values. It makes us uncomfortable when a conflict exists between our beliefs and action. Whenever you take any action against your values, beliefs, it will make you miserable. So the best thing to do is to be in sync with your values and action. I don't accidentally spilt tea on his shirt and he felt very bad obviously and he thought everyone was watching him staring at him but you know the truth is people barely noticed the spotlight effect is when we overestimate the attention others pay to our actions and appearance we often overestimate how much attention others are paying to us right so remember most people are living in their own world I didn't wanted to buy a new sofa for his living room. So instead of online shopping, he decided to go to a nearby store. While shopping for a new sofa, I didn't fell victim to the anchoring effect. The salesman showed a 95,000 rupee sofa first. So I didn't focus too much on the first price and that actually skewed his perception of all the other options. And you know what he ended up buying a 40000 rupees off and and he felt it was a good buy anchoring bias occurs when people relate too much on pre-existing information or the first information you know they see and that influences the decision and trained sales folks you know they play with this technique in in big stores so it's it's crucial to gather multiple data points and not let the first piece of inf- information influence your decision At a social gathering, Arun met the charming Divya, and the halo effect took over. He assumed she was perfect in every way, leading him to overlook her flaws. The halo effect is when our overall impression of someone or their background influences our judgments about their specific traits. For example, if a person is attractive, we may perceive them as smarter or more talented. and you know what this is a very common error during job interviews if someone is from a premier institute or with some good background the hiring manager assumes he or she is good they may or may not be i mean it may be their iq is good but has a poor eq to counter the halo effect try to evaluate each trait independently and with data avoid making assumptions you know based on superficial factors in the evening arun was checking his linkedin account and he had nine connection requests so he has this habit of checking the profile before accepting any request so he opened the first eight profiles and all were genuine real ones he accepted all and the ninth one he accepted without opening the profile assuming it's it's genuine actually the ninth one was from a fake user a spammer so this is called gambler's fallacy Gambler's fallacy is a false belief that past events will influence future events even if these events are independent of each other it's a cognitive bias you know which will lead to a poor decision making past results not necessarily predict future occurrences the next day arun was called to be part of an interview panel to select freshers in his project there were six candidates you know for the final round the first five were really bad right and the sixth candidate was also bad but not as bad as the first five right and you know what i don't hired him because of the contrast effect 
A simple example of the contrast effect appears in the image where the gray square that's placed on the light background appears darker than the gray square that's placed on the dark background, despite the fact that they are both the exact same color. So don't let comparisons distort your perception. In the evening, Arun went out for a drink with his friends and they got engaged in political discussions, political debate. So Arun was in favor of a political party. He was actually blindsided by confirmation bias. bias. Confirmation bias is our tendency to search for or interrupt and recall information that confirms our pre-existing beliefs. For example, if you believe your favorite politician is honest, you may only pay attention to news that supports this view. Or, you know, you only pay attention to information that aligned with this pre-existing belief. You will see this in social media all the time. Your friends posting in favor or against a political party or a person. So lesson to be learned is this. Keep an open mind and actively seek out diverse perspectives to make informed judgments. Arun decided to buy a new electric scooter right, uh, for himself. And suddenly he started seeing electric scooters everywhere on the road. That's the RAS in action. RAS, reticular activating system. So our brain doesn't register everything, you know. It filters. We see only what we want to see. We hear only what we want to hear, even right now. <laughs> The day you decide to buy a particular, say, a brand of car, you will see that everywhere on the road. Because wherever focus flows, energy flows there. So an increased awareness can make things seem more frequent or it will show up more in your life. Arun wanted to withdraw money from the ATM. So he took the money from the ATM and after 10 minutes, he realized that he left the debit card in the ATM machine. When a task is completed, our brain hits the delete button and our memory gets wiped clean. So while withdrawing money, the mind focused on the task, which is withdrawing money. And then he forgot about the card. This effect is named after Bluma Sigarnik, a Russian psychologist who first observed this effect while dining at a restaurant. She noticed that waiters were able to remember complex orders with ease, but only until the orders were complete. Once the orders were served, they seem to forget them you know, almost immediately. So most of the ATMs these days, they prompt you to take the card first and then money because due to this effect. During weekend, Arun wasted some 15 minutes browsing different OTT platforms to finalize on one movie to watch. The paradox of choice is a phenomenon where Having too many options can actually make it harder for us to make a decision. You know, we were super happy to watch that one movie Doordarshan played every Sunday. You remember? You'll remember if you're, if you're of my age. The same thing can happen when we are in, in a store or shopping online. When we are presented with a large number of choices, we spend more time and energy to make a decision. And this can lead to decision fatigue where we become mentally exhausted from making too many decisions and sometimes end up in a bad decision. So the paradox of choice suggests that while having you know, a lot of choice is good, uh, but too much choice can lead to indecision, anxiety and ultimately dissatisfaction. So it's important to strike a balance between having options and not feeling overwhelmed by them. So that's the story of Arun and the 10 mind traps. By recognizing and understanding these mind traps, there are more, but these are the top 10, we can become more rational and effective thinkers. Most of these concepts I took from the book Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. He explores the two systems of human thinking. System one, the fast, intuitive and emotional system. System two is the slow, deliberate and logical system. The book talks about how these systems shape our judgments, decisions, and cognitive biases, leading to errors in thinking. He provides a lot of insights and techniques to improve decision-making by understanding and managing the interplay between the two systems, 
highly recommended book so being aware of these mind traps can empower us to take control of our thoughts and decisions it's good for our you know personal growth and deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us so let's embrace this knowledge challenge our biases and strive to be more thoughtful clear thinkers thank you so much for watching i am srijit krishnan stay happy stay healthy